everyone, it's Jess from Meyer Hatchery, and today I want to talk a little bit about our chicken's ears. Chicken's ears are really similar to ours, except for they don't have an outer ear. Although I think it'd be really funny if my muddy friend here had ears like me. <laughs> if you've ever hatched chicks before, when they're still really wet, you can see their ear holes really defined. And as they get their feathers and they grow, their feathers kind of cover their ear holes, but they still have ears just like ours. The inside of their ear has an eardrum and has a middle and an inner and outer ear. Chickens have to be able to hear really well to keep them protected from predators. So us humans, when we get older and we lose our hearing, there really usually isn't a way for us to get our hearing back except for maybe getting a hearing aid. Chickens, though, have the ability to regenerate their hearing cells, which is pretty amazing. Chickens also have an earlobe like we do, and an earlobe is important on some breeds because it can help to determine what color egg your chickens are going to lay. Let's take a little bit of a closer look at some of the different types of earlobes. Our chicken's earlobes are important because in the hens, it can tell you what color egg that hen is going to lay. But remember, there's many exceptions to the rules when it comes to this. Some general guidelines are if your hen has a white earlobe, then they're going to lay a white egg. If your hen has a dark earlobe, then they're probably going to lay a brown egg. If they have a red earlobe, they're going to lay varying shades of brown. But here's one of the exceptions. If you have an Easter egger and they have a red earlobe, they're going to lay those beautiful greens and blue colors. If you have a silky, they are going to have a blue earlobe. But it doesn't mean they're going to lay a blue egg. They lay off-white to light brown eggs. Another exception to the rule is a breed such as the Penitocincas. They lay brown eggs, but they have white earlobes. It's really interesting to look at all the different earlobes that our chickens have and kind of compare the different breeds and see if those earlobes match up to the color eggs that they lay. Hopefully I've given you a little more insight into our chicken's ears. If you have any questions, be sure to let us know in the comments below. As always, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click that bell so you're the first to know every time a new video has been released. Thank you so much for watching.